If you have a Squarespace website and want to grow your business using SEO, then this video is going to be the most valuable video that you watch all year because I'm going to be unveiling the secret SEO framework that I use with every single one of my SEO clients in order to get consistent SEO growth. On top of that, this framework is also what I use to grow SEO space, the creator of the SEO plugin for Squarespace. So you're in the right place because I'm gonna tell you everything. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to be giving you free resources on top of this video that's gonna give you all of the tools that you need in order to grow your business using SEO. But of course, let's just get straight into it. Now I'm not usually someone for presentations, but I'm just gonna take you through a few slides which is going to be the best way in order to demonstrate exactly what this framework is. And I call it the SEO space pyramid. And what this SEO space pyramid does, it gives you a framework to follow to make sure that you are optimizing your website to rank for the right keywords that are actually going to get you found by your target customers and you're doing what Google needs to see in order to rank you higher on Google. And I do always try and make these videos jargon free, but if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. But first of all, let's get straight into my secret Squarespace SEO structure. So essentially how I grow Squarespace SEO sites is through the SEO space pyramid. And essentially how this is structured is at the top of it, you always have your commercial keyword pages or your pillar pages. And essentially these are the pages that you want target customers to come to, to either buy your product or service. So these are the pages that are actually going to make you money. And don't worry because I have got an example after this slide which is going to bring all of this to life. But at the top of it, we always have our pillar page which are the pages you want to rank for your money keywords. Underneath that, we then have things called keyword clusters. How these will be added to your website are via blogs. And essentially what we do, we add blogs to our website that are optimized to rank for keywords that are related to the main commercial keyword that you want to rank for. And essentially what we do, we add these blogs to our website, which are a topic linked to your pillar page. And then we internally link these. So I'm going to come back to this page in a second, but I'm just going to give you an example. So let's say you're a Squarespace website designer that has a Squarespace website and you want to rank on Google for Squarespace website designer. What you would do, you would have a services page to rank for Squarespace website designer. Or another example, you could be a catering business and you have a page on your website that you want to rank for catering business in your local area. That would be your pillar page. You would then add blogs to your website, which are your keyword clusters, which are topics linked to this pillar page. So for example, I've used ChatGPT here in order to get me some keyword clusters. And again, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get these keyword clusters using the prompt that I use at my own agency to do keyword research. But essentially we would add a keyword cluster such, such as Squarespace website templates. So cluster one would be Squarespace website templates and it would be optimized to rank for these keywords. Cluster two would be responsive web design on Squarespace being optimized for these keywords. So we would write a blog, for example, on how to do responsive web design on Squarespace. And then the third one might be Squarespace e-commerce design. So three different topics, but all of these topics are linked to our main pillar page. And now there's two main reasons why we use this SEO space pyramid approach. The first reason is something called topical authority. And this is essentially something that Google looks at on your website to determine whether you're an expert in the space. If you want to rank for Squarespace web designer or catering business in your local area or any other term that people are searching to buy from a business like yours, you need to show that you're an expert in the space. And this is done by keyword clusters. 
by writing blogs that are around the main topic that you want to rank for to show to Google and users that you are an expert in that space. The second reason that we write these keyword clusters is because only 10% of your target customers are ready to buy from you right now. That's right, 90% of your target customers are not looking to buy, either because they don't know about you, they don't know they have a problem, or they don't know that they need to solve that problem. So 90% of your target customers aren't ready to even come to this pillar page, i.e. the page that you rank for money keywords in the first place. And that is why we write keyword clusters, because these clusters, these blogs, will rank for other key terms in your industry around other topics, which makes it more likely that you're going to capture your target customer's attention at different stages of the buyer journey. And in these subsequent steps, not only am I going to show you how to use this structure to get customers to your website, but I'm also going to tell you a couple of secrets that I use to grow my own business and my client sites. Now, as I've already discussed here, you have your pillar page, which is the term that you want to rank for, and your keyword clusters. Now, this is how you find keyword clusters. And ChatGBT has made it so much easier now. You put in this prompt, which I'm not going to read out loud right now. However, feel free to take a screenshot or head to the description of this video to get it. But essentially, you tell ChatGBT what you want to rank for and then ask it to give you keyword clusters. You can see it's given me three here. Squarespace website templates, responsive web design on Squarespace, etc, etc. And these are the clusters that you will write blogs about and internally link back to your pillar page as well as internally link between each other. And that's really important to build that topical authority. After that, you're going to do keyword research and you're going to do keyword research using a tool that I use called Keywords Everywhere. And if I had to pick two tools that I had to stick to using for eternity in my SEO career, then I would choose Keywords Everywhere and our own tool, SEO Space. Keywords Everywhere is a super cost-effective keyword research tool, which for any keyword that you search into Google is going to tell you how many people search for that per month and give you related keywords around that topic that you can also add to your clusters. And that's super important because all of these keywords that you're given by ChatGPT, you can check to see if people actually search for them on Google, because of course we don't want to be writing blogs that are optimized for keywords that no one is searching for. And we can also see other keywords that are related to this main thing that we search in to give us more ideas for other blogs that we could write or other keywords that we could add to our existing clusters. Once you know the keywords that you're going to optimize your website for, now what you need to do is create those keyword clusters, create those blogs with unique optimized content. And this is where SEO Spaces, SEO plugin for Squarespace really comes in because this gives you a dynamic checklist of what you need to follow when you're adding any page on your website, whether you're on the Squarespace editor, editing a draft or password protected page or you're editing a live website. However, this isn't your only option. I've also added a link in the description that will allow you to access the SEO checklist that I use in order to optimize my website. So if you don't want to use SEO space and you don't want to sign up to our free plan in order to access this specifically designed for Squarespace websites, then you can for free go to the description and get a link to the exact checklist I use in order to optimize Squarespace sites to turn those keyword clusters into things that are actually going to rank and are actually going to get you traffic. And then the fourth step is SEO does not stop there. What you need to be doing is make sure you monitor and improve your website over time to always be re revisiting how your web pages are ranking to see if your site health changes over time and constantly look to optimize your website. Because if SEO was as easy as following the SEO space pyramid and then leaving your site without updating it, then let's be honest, ranking on Google wouldn't be the gold mine that it is. You need to make sure that you're constantly revisiting and optimizing your website. But fortunately for you, again, our SEO space plugin will actually tell you recommended pages that you should be optimizing on your website. So if you're unsure, you can either use our plugin or you can head over to our dashboard, as you can see here, which is going to tell you what you need to do to improve over time to make sure your SEO is always improving to further build on top of the solid foundations that the SEO 
Geospace Pyramid provides. And now if you really want to take this to the next level, I have this checklist here and a few other things that you want to be doing to the SEO space pyramid. However, this is going to be for a separate video as it is a little bit more advanced. So make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be releasing videos with more advanced things that you can be doing to take your Squarespace SEO to the next level. This video is more the foundations, introducing you to the concept. However, I'm still showing you my secrets. Feel free to take a screenshot of this because it's exactly what I do to skyrocket Squarespace site and of course, subscribe to see exactly how I use this in future videos. And of course, don't worry at all, it is bloody hard. Squarespace SEO is a challenge and we know that ourselves because we've dedicated years to it. However, this video and the SEO Space Pyramid will take you much, much further than you ever thought you could get on your website and using tools like SEO Space, Keywords Everywhere and ChatGBT, it is now easier than ever. And of course, if you have found this useful, then SEO Space is here to help. Not only do we have our SEO plugin for Squarespace, but we also have a free audit tool, the free SEO checklist, which I'm going to be adding in the description, a free SEO community full of other Squarespace users like you that are looking to level up their SEO. And then we also have specialist Squarespace SEO services coming soon. So head to seospace.co.uk to learn more and feel free to go back through this video to revisit any of the information that I've spoken about. But of course, guys, if you made it this far, thank you so much for listening and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.